in the 80s, I devoted my life to artificial intelligence and the law. I wrote a doctorate in the subject in Oxford, and I developed the world's first commercially available expert system in law. The idea then of AI and law was what you did was you sat down with a human expert, you mined the jewels from their heads, you built essentially a decision tree, you dropped it into a system so non-experts could wander around that decision tree and essentially share the expertise of the expert. There were severe limitations with that kind of system that were brittle in a number of ways. But it's interesting that many people who criticize AI still have that 1980s conception of artificial intelligence in mind. They think that the only way that you can make a computer system that can perform at the level of a human expert is by somehow knowing all the variables, knowing all the rules, knowing all the facts in advance, programming as it were, um, and developing a system that is essentially a glorified decision tree. But the second generation of AI that we're seeing emerging, whether it be on the basis of big data or incredible processing power or what's known as machine learning, where these systems can learn from their own experience, it's wrong to think of them, in a sense, as a pre-programmed decision tree. They're far more flexible and sophisticated like, than this. Now, I do get troubled by a number of the systems that are widely touted that, frankly, their claims are over-exaggerated. We are many years, it seems to me, probably in the 2020s, before AI will have major impact on, on big law. So we shouldn't really be too concerned by the hype. But once we get into the 2020s, we'll see systems that will sort out legal problems. They'll even, it seems to me, and this is one of the findings of our book in the, in the other professions, there are systems that will sort out the kinds of problems that we thought required human empathy or human judgment or human creativity. They won't work like human beings, but in the strength of vast amounts of data and brute force processing, these systems will produce outcomes satisfaction for the clients that it will often outstrip the human being. One of the problems with lawyers, uh, and indeed with all professions, you know that phrase, uh, if you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. We often think uh, uh, every problem looks like a, a legal problem, but generally our clients' problems are business problems. And so the kinds of pr problem solving uh, and solution offering that these systems will deliver is often not based on a tight analysis of the law. In, for example, uh, the area of disputes, these systems will be predicting the behavior of courts and judges and litigators on particular subjects on the basis of statistics rather than, for example, articulating fine analogical arguments and engaging in complex legal reasoning. They'll answer the question that clients want answered. What's the chances of winning here? The lawyer will think that needs to be a complex legal argument and I need to have mastery of all the information and I need to have full familiarity with all the law. But in the end, just as the world's best chess players can be beaten by chess systems, human beings, lawyers, and many other professionals will be trumped, will be beaten in terms of outcome by brute force search and very large quantities of data.